Capricorn got a tarot card reading for you today. So I'm doing individual astrology signs. Never thought I'd be doing them. But hey, we're here, so let's get it done. Capricorn, uh, very heavy earth energy today. Um, I've already done a few other astrology signs, so you will be the last one. Um, saving the best for last, right? The Alpha and Omega, you know? The year begins with you and ends with you. So, no matter what people say to you or about you, Capricorn, you are one of the hardest working signs of the Zodiac. May be able to outwork Taurus. But, um, yeah, man, Capricorn, very strong energy. Um, I would say... I told Taurus to save their money. I told uh, Virgo to ex ex experience life in a new way. Try experience life in a new way every day. Every day you wake up, you're a brand new version in some ways. <laughs> so Capricorn, what I would say to you is be consistent. Um, stand in your power. Um, make things easier for yourself, not hard for yourself. I come across a lot of Capricorns in my life. They are hard-headed. Um, they learn things the hard way. They are not open-minded. Um, but yeah, they are very persistent, uh, very powerful, and um, manifesting. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get to the reading, man. It's been a lot of a lot of gold, a lot of a lot of gold. Okay. All right, Capricorn. So you're gonna have to get you some gold. You're going to have to get gold, wear gold, buy gold, invest in gold, something with gold. All right. Um, pyrite, of course, fool's gold. It's one of my favorite um, stones here or crystals. It will inspire you to attract money to yourself. And it will attract other people um, you know, abundant people to you as well. Wear some nice jewelry. Wear some gold. People tend to ask you, hey, where did you get that? Or, or hey, you know, you start to spark up ideas. Not to say that you need to, you know, sit around and talk with people all day long. But, you know, something with gold. Gold is going to be very um, important for you, Capricorn. I didn't get any other messages like that. So, yeah, definitely. And the crazy part is, before I got a chance to shuffle, look what's sitting at the... So I've been doing readings all day. Look what's sitting here. Look what showed itself. Gold. Ace of Pentacles. It's one of the best financial cards in the deck. So let's see what the Rider Waite Tarot has to say to Capricorn. Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Say spiritually gifted people normally drain electronics. My phone is about to die. But that's because we stay on the internet all day. <laughs> Knowledge is power. <laughs> uh, of course, you're gonna drain your phone battery all day if you if you just sit on your phone all day reading and um you know things on the internet and learning different things and things like that i mean brick and mortar schools are going away most intelligence and data is found online now on the internet what's grounding you today taurus no, sorry not taurus capricorn is we got the two of wands got the whole world in his hand he got the whole world in his hand standing in between two options two rods Standing in between two people, two methods of power, maybe art, passion, maybe models. I mean, wands are about taking action, right? Moving towards something. He has an option to make standing in between these two wands. So get to making that, making that choice, making that option. And explore, vacation. Flight mileage. All right, so making a judgment call. You need to make a decision, right? You need to make a choice. So get to 
making that judgment call. Could be outside of judgment, outside of the card itself, um, 20 or 10, 10, because there's two X's on it. So it could be completion, could be going through um, completing a cycle. Um, let's pull more cards. I mean, there's more I could say about that, but I just don't want to speak on it um, just yet. We have six of six of cups, so in, enjoying uh, something emotionally. Is this marriage? Ace of Pentacles came out anyways. <laughs> it's marriage, gold. It's a lot of gold here, or yellow, or however you want to take it. We have the Earth Angel with the gold hair. We have, and you know. Uh, yellow symbolizes um, confidence and things like that. Uh, solar plexus energy, all those types of things. Ace of Pentacles, so definitely getting those deposits, getting some of those Ben Franks. We have death. Are you dealing with a death in the family? You know, those types of things come with, you know, a judgment call, calling someone back home. You know, people often, you know, you know what comes with death. We have to deal with those, deal with things that comes with death. Um, you know, life insurance policies and things like that. Inherence and inherit, inheritances. Wills. Can't even say will. <laughs> will. Um, but yeah, I definitely see death. I definitely see money. I see someone uh, needing to make a decision. Um emotionally in regards to love it could be marriage i mean death doesn't literally have to be death i also look at death as rebirth so starting a new relationship beginning anew we're going past the dating stage and we're now entering whatever stage we're in when it comes to someone looking for love cups finding marriage getting that abundance ace of swords so you got Ace of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. Someone's getting that. Somebody's. Who's cutting the check? <laughs> or who's getting a check cut? Maybe even be tattoos. This looks like ink to me. This literally looks like someone getting a tattoo. We have the tattoo artist here. Whoever it may be, it can be a random person holding the tattoo needle. Literally the ink. This is you. You're being exalted. Standing in your true power. And someone's putting their hands on you, man. I'm just playing. Someone's putting that, that needle on you. So, indeed, getting a new tattoo, getting new... and I mean, aces are about new things already, period. That's the number one, ace. So, new ideas, new ways of expressing yourself. <laughs> Let me know if you got a tattoo, bro. Pull some more cards. Queen of Wands. So definitely someone that's very artistic. Normally when you're getting tattoos, you're sitting down in a chair, right? I'm not gonna insinuate um, that someone is going to get tattoos and things like that, but I mean, there's money coming in, there's love coming in, there's abundance. Sometimes people celebrate death or marriage or whatever the case be, may be. People celebrate um, with different ID or with different ideas. I had cert certain different um, different uh, goals in my life that I had tattoos for. Once I turned 21, I think my first tattoo, was it my first tattoo on my back? But you know, you reach you reach certain milestones. Every tattoo I have is because I reached a certain milestone or I achieved something that I wanted to achieve in life, whether it's overcoming death. Um, have peace and love. Well, you may be able to see 